Hey everyone, my name is Michelle Minkin and I'm a friend of Sammy Goldberg's and he wanted me to tell you about my LSAT experience. So far I have completed my first month of my LSAT course and have taken two practice tests. And I just want to tell you that my first practice test, the first day of class, was a complete disaster. I didn't know anything on the test. I didn't understand the questions. I didn't know how to do logical games or logical reasonings. I didn't know how to determine whether something was a flaw question or an assumption. I just didn't know what any of that stuff meant. And I have been in the class for three weeks now and I just completed my second practice test and I must say that I have jumped 20 points. So I do know that the course works and now I'm actually capable of determining what kind of question it is and what it means and what I have to look for in the answer. Um, I know how to chart out logic games a little better, although I do feel logic games are a bunch of BS. <laughs> but I still have trouble with logic games but I've noticed from the LSAT course that it really does teach you how to take this test it gives you strategies it gives you methods and it teaches you like when a, when a question is asking you what's an assumption it teaches you what to look for so I really do feel like the course has helped me and I still have two more practice tests left before I actually take the real test, which is in less than a month. So it's crunch time, and this whole month I will be studying. I study about five hours a day, and it's all about practice. And they tell you that in the beginning of the course. You have to practice every single day and you have to study in order to succeed on the real test. So I just wanted to let everybody know that there is such thing as jumping 20 points because I did it. I won't tell you my score because it's really embarrassing, but I know I can do better and that's my LSAT experience so far.